Hey YouTube, how's it going? Dad with a bike here. And today is maintenance day. Uh, we've recently hit 10,000 miles on the bobber, so it's time to do the 10,000 mile maintenance. So I'm gonna make a handful of videos that are focused around the 10,000 mile maintenance, primarily the uh, large tasks. And there's really only two large tasks in the 10K maintenance, which is oil and the air filter. So uh, stick around and we'll tackle the uh, oil filter, uh, or the oil change, uh, here in just a minute. See you in a bit. All right, everybody. So let's walk through exactly what we're gonna be doing. So this is the oil change, and that includes taking uh, the old nasty cruddy oil out, uh, removing the old oil filter, um, and putting the new oil filter on and putting the brand new oil in. But there are some specifics that I wanna cover before we get into some of the videos um, and or before we get into some of the footage. Um, so let's kinda of talk about it. So first and foremost, uh, the oil that I'm gonna use is straight from Indian. Uh, I buy the Indian kit specifically for the Indian Scout Bobber. And the reason why I do that is because it comes with all I need to make the oil, uh, to, to do the oil change itself. So it comes with four quarts of oil, comes with crush washers, and it comes with a filter. So it's a very easy thing for just to buy 75 bucks. You get it, bam, you can do your oil. And it's not hard to do your oil. So that's what we're gonna do, or that's what we're gonna use to change the oil. Um, so that's really what the kit kind of looks like. Um, so there's your oil, there's your oil filter, crush washers, comes in a nice box. So uh, 75 bucks gets you all of that, and it's bueno. So let's kind of uh, cover real quick uh, what we're going to go through. Um, I've got some stuff written down because I'm an old man and I have to write down things that I'm going to do in order uh, so I don't forget. So let's talk about it. So first and foremost, you have to get your bike warm. So what you want to do is uh, um, start your bike, let it sit for about a minute or two uh, to get the engine nice and warm, get the oil nice and loose. Uh, once you do that, you're going to want to uh, begin the process to change the oil. So to begin the process to change oil, what you really have to do is make sure that the bike itself is flat. Uh, you cannot change the oil, you do not want to change the oil with this bobber leaving over to its side. So you can get a you know inexpensive scissor jack, you can buy them online, 50 bucks, 70 bucks, whatever. It does the job, it just needs to be flat. Um, and then you're going to get yourself an oil pan. Uh, you're going to loosen the plugs and pull the plugs so that the oil drains in the, in the oil pan. And when you do that, you need to make sure that the crush washers come along with it. Uh, sometimes they stick, so you need to get in there with your fingers maybe and make sure that the crush washer falls out. Sometimes it'll fall out into the oil pan. You'll have to dig your hand in there. Make sure it comes out. You do not want to reuse the crush washers, okay? Uh, and then the next thing that um, we'll do is we'll swing over and we'll um, take the filter off. Um, that's not complicated. Um, you will want to remove the horn before you actually take the filter off because if you don't, it's just a pain in the ass. Uh, you can do it without it, but it's just easier to take the horn off. It's one bolt and the horn comes off. It's no problem. So in the videos and whatnot, you'll see that. Um, it's going to take a while for it to drain, so just let it drain. And then when it's done, um, it's time to put everything back together. So then essentially it's reverse, reverse order. You take new crush washers, you put them on the oil drain plugs, so there's two plugs, put those back in, and then you'll take the oil filter, you'll take a little bit of oil, put it around the seal on the oil filter, and then screw that back on. There are some specifications for this, uh, which we'll cover in, in the uh, video. Uh, and then uh, you put your new oil in. Now what I do when I do my new oil is I will go three quarts, I'll start the bike, um, and I'll let the bike sit for a second, uh, and I'll turn it off, and then I'll actually measure my oil, because I wanna make sure that I don't overfill. Overfilling oil is really bad. That's how you blow gaskets, that's how you get nasty crap in your air filter. It's a bad, bad thing to do uh, overfill on the oil. So um, you wanna avoid that at all costs. So anyway, uh, let's get to it, and we'll go through this uh, fairly step by step, and you know, see how it goes. So uh, we'll see you in just a moment. Alrighty y'all, we're down here about to change oil on this Indian Scout bobber. I've got the bike upright. Uh, it's on a little jack, a little scissor jack. Um, I've already warmed the engine up, so it's nice and warm. 
uh, and I got my trusty little oil pan and I've already broke loose the two bolts that are under here that we need to take out. Hope I don't drop my phone in here, which is that bolt. And then it's brother bolt that's right back there. So we'll take those two out. And they specifically will take like a six millimeter. Um, one of them bad boys and uh, no problem. So now all we're going to do is, uh, since I've got it loosened up, we're going to actually uh, take those out, let the oil drain, uh, and then we'll kind of slide it around, and then we'll go tackle the uh, um, actual oil filter that's in the front. So uh, we'll be back in just a minute. Alrighty, so uh, oil's about done draining. It's uh, in its... Uh, last stage is just kind of dripping free uh, and now we're gonna come in here and we're gonna attack the filter um, it'll help if you remove the horn because it's easier to get to get up under there get to the filter right there there you go that's a better view if the horns out of the way so we'll remove the filter uh, I'll get a little filter wrench slap it on there and then we'll uh, remove that and let that oil drain uh, as well so uh, We'll be back once I got that taken care of. Alrighty, now that's done, it is officially a waiting game. So the filter's off, we're just going to let it drip, drip, drip for a while, and then the two bolts are out, we're just going to let them do their thing for a while. Um, and then, uh, you know, once, once the streams kind of stop, um, then we'll go to the next stage, which is kind of uh, wiping everything off. Like I want to get up in there and I want to clean, make sure there's no crud. I want to clean around the, uh, the filter itself, around the seal. Uh, I want to clean the bolts and everything else. Um, so speaking of the bolts, like I was saying, so these are the uh, drain plugs. That little thing that is hanging off to the other side of the drain plug right there, that is the crush washer. Uh, you do want to make sure you remove those. Like I said before, you don't want to reuse those. So make sure you get yourself new crush washers. Um, and like I said, uh, they do come with the uh, Indian kit. So, um, you know, just buy that. 75 bucks and uh, saves you a lot of headache. So anyway, uh, we'll be back once this is done. And then we'll button it up and start putting the oil back in. So be back shortly. Alrighty everybody, so we have thusly drained the oil and now it's time to put things back. So we are going to go into kind of the opposite order and let me pull this over here so you guys can see. So these are the old crush washers, so we don't want those. Oop. These are the, the uh, drain plugs, so if you notice they're nice and clean. That's because I took a rag and I cleaned them, wiped them down. And when I do that, I'm actually inspecting them as well, like inspecting the threads, making sure there's no metal shavings or anything like that in any of the oil that I'm kind of messing with. That's usually a indicator of bad things. So we're gonna take these brand new crush washers, and we're slap them on here, and we're gonna take these plugs in right back in. And these will get tightened to um, I think it's 15 foot pound. Um, I'll double check that, but I'm pretty certain that's what it is, 15 foot pound. So we'll use a torque wrench and we'll do that to spec. And then uh, we'll come back once that's done. All right, use my trusty little uh, torque wrench. Set that to, yeah, set that to 15. And then let me slide you up under here and then torque that bad boy and here is he at that bad boy to spec so that part's done next thing is we move over to that guy and uh, when we put the uh, filter on what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the filter and a little bit of oil and on the filter there's a rubber seal and then I'm going to put that oil around the, uh, the rubber seal 
So uh, uh, once I do that, then I'm going to put the filter on, and I'm going to tighten it all the way down until the seal catches, and then it's going to go a three quarter to one full turn after that, and that's kind of like Kentucky windage getting it tight enough. You never want to like stick a wrench up in there and try and wrench down on getting the oil filter tight. Um, you can cause lots of problems there. So uh, only ever needs to be hand tight. So anyway, um, we'll come back. When we come back, that'll be done. And then we'll be to the point where we're going to uh, start putting some oil in. So we'll be back in a minute. All right, everybody. So the oil filter's back on, hand tightened. Uh, you know, I've got my oil drain cap or oil um, filler cap off. I got my little blue funnel in, and then we've got our oil over there. We're gonna stick in the blue funnel, and I'm going to. Um, the way that I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna put three quarts in, um, maybe maybe three and a quarter. I don't know, somewhere around three. <clears throat> then I'm gonna put the cap back on, the bike on, let it warm up, um, and I'll actually check based off of this. Let me spin it so you can actually, I can actually see it correctly and see if it'll get it in focus. Uh, do, 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 do. There, okay, so I don't want it to be uh, past full, I want it to be between full and add. So you never ever ever, like I said earlier, want your um, oil to be overfilled. Really bad for your engine. So anyway, I'm gonna get to it, put some oil in, and um, and uh, once I get done with that, I'll uh, see y'all back in just a second. All right, everybody, we've got the oil added. I put, uh, not quite four, I put about three and a half is my guess, pretty close. Three and a half, uh, between three and a quarter, three and a half in. And we'll check it real quick so you can kind of see. All right, so if we get down there and we see, there's a full line and we're a little over half between the ad and the full line. And that's kind of like where I'd like to keep it. Um, because like I said, I, I'm like super nervous about over, overfilling my oil. I don't want to overfill it. it. You can always add oil when you need to. Um, taking away is uh, not fun. So anyway, that is the uh, oil change and we're done. All right guys, well that was it. That was the oil change. Not bad. Uh, if you count like the waiting time for the oil to drain, it was roughly uh, 45 minutes. It doesn't take long at all to change oil. Uh, and it's good for you to get used to being able to do little maintenance like that. Oil change is a good place to start. Um, hopefully this helps you. Um, and uh, hopefully this provides you some kind of information that'll help you be able to uh, maybe change your own oil. Because um, I do know that it can get expensive. Some places will charge a couple hundred bucks just to change your oil. And this cost me 75 bucks, 45 minutes of my time. So anyway, uh, make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe, notify, um, and uh, we'll see you on the next one where we're actually going to handle our air filter. So I have a Trask intake, so we're going to uh, take everything apart and clean that intake. So until next time, y'all be good to each other. Peace.